The Bear, Season 1, Episode 8. Thoughts, this episode is called Brachiole, and yeah, uh, one other episode I absolutely loved. Spoilers for these first eight episodes. Uh, I swear, like a sailor in these videos, like they do on the show. If at all you can support the SAG after a strike, please do. There will be a link to donate in the description box, as well as links that talk about why the strike is so important. And yeah, um, let's dive right in. So yeah, we open on one of Carmi's dreams, and this time he imagines having a cooking show with like a very excitable audience that like laughs and gasps and is, like even before he starts saying insane shit there are already big reactions and we get some of the the dream from the bear again and at the end of this episode we learn that the bear is apparently gonna be the name of the new place so yeah and we get some mic voice over and Carmi goes to Al Anon. I really love that the camera is purely on Carmi's face and it's a nice long take. Yeah, really exactly the right choice for the scene. And yeah, we learned that in order to make money they there are bachelor parties in the in the restaurant, which is just wow. And Marcus and Sid are, you know, eating together at, at her place. So, yeah, it seems like there's been a time skip since the end of the previous episode. This is not, like, the next day. And <laughs> I like the thing with, you know, so when I was in the CIA, I mean, the Culinary Institute of America, Oh, not the set. No, you could be a spy. And they're they're legitimately sweet together. And let's see. Yeah, and and there's a scene between Carmi and Tina. I appreciate it. Like this episode has a much more lax pace, and I want to say, isn't the length? Also longer, yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely the longest episode. Like the, the most episodes are like half an hour or so. This one is like forty eight minutes or something. So, you know, one and a half normal episodes. Although I guess they took that half from the seventh episode. But but yeah, you know. It makes it very clear that the very, very intense pace of the other episodes was, like, a choice. It's not like, oh, they just didn't really know. You know, it's like, oh, I don't know, whatever. Let's let's have a super intense pace all the time. It was a very deliberate choice. And... You know, and it's, you know, it's it's a bit more like the episode, because of the more gradual pace, it's a bit like, um, it's easing us into the end of the, the season. I think it works. I like, you know, okay, so, so Richie and Carmi are standing outside the, the, um, the batch, yeah, they have to watch the place because that's a fucking bachelor party. Something's gonna go wrong. And you know, Richie's like, "Fucking asshole!" And Carmi's like, "I'm standing right here and I'm not doing anything." <laughs> like, okay, first of all, to my face, really. Second of all, what did I do? Come on, man. <laughs> uh, just yeah. <laughs> and, you know, Richie was talking about Mike. And, you know, Richie knew Mike was using, and he feels like he should have done more. Uh, you know, and this is, you know, a lot of people feel that way after, you know. And it's it's impossible to know. You don't know when someone is going to, to you know, hurt themselves. 
so so it's you know you you would try to support the best you can and hopefully you'll be able to to prevent it but don't blame yourself you'll never uh, yeah and let's see yeah and so a fight breaks out and it's like Jesus fucking crap do you see all the all the frame shit on the walls do you see how this is a fucking restaurant don't fight in here motherfuckers just Jesus Christ and you know Richie paragon of virtue in complete control of himself punches one of the guys and he's not getting up and it's like motherfucker just it's Murphy's Law of the Show. That's if 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 it wasn't called the Bear, it sh it should be called Murphy's Law of the Show. If everything, if something can go wrong, it will go wrong in this show. And uh, yeah, you know the the. I mean, Richie did seem exhausted. Maybe it's good he's getting a rest. The yeah, and and you know. Is he, has he woken up? Nope, he's not woken up yet. And, you know, what if, what if he doesn't wake up? He's gonna wake up. Yeah, well, what if he doesn't? You're looking at man's laughter. And, you know, he, he takes his one phone call. He calls Tiff, because of course he fucking does. And he doesn't want to leave that message on the machine. I mean, maybe he wasn't going, maybe if, even if she had picked up the phone. Which, you know, it's understandable if she doesn't. For one thing, he only ever calls with bad news, and second, it's super fucking late. But yeah, I maybe he wasn't going to, you know, the, the moment he's like getting close to the phone, I'm like, he, this motherfucker doesn't know a single goddamn lawyer, does he? You know, even before we realized, oh, he's calling Tiff, you know, but no, he's, he's like, he apologizes, he leaves a message on the machine apologizing for the, you know, for what he called her father. Uh, you know, he doesn't tell her that he's been arrested at all. And thankfully the guy woke up. Jesus. And Carmi was like sleeping on the on the bench waiting for him. And how did they how did he pay for bail? The two week parachute. Just yeah. And and Richie says, Thank you, cousin. Was this the first time that he called Carmi cousin. I feel like he's, or was it? Wait, was it Pete that he didn't want to call cousin? I, I forget. But it's it's a sweet moment at the very least, and we get a montage of them cleaning up, and it's like, yeah, you you better be thorough. That's <laughs> like there's such there's such a thing as something being so clean you could eat off it, which you know ideally you want that kind of thing. For like a kitchen or restaurant. Then there's a thing that's like so filthy that you wouldn't want, to, you know, you wouldn't want to be anywhere near it. That's a bachelor party. So yeah, they're they're at opposite ends of the extreme. So so yeah. It's, uh, honestly, nuke the site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. And the yeah, Carmi tells Marcus, you know, I'm sorry, I'm glad you're back. And you know, Marcus isn't like effervescent, you know, he but he accepts. And Fag is talking to the machine and imagining it talking back. Do you ever get sad? Of course I do, Fag, but I keep it inside. It makes it easier to beat people up. Makes sense. And I don't think I added, but I, I did kind of find it funny when, like, you know, Richie's like, dude, you gotta fucking fix this thing. And he's like, you got stabbed and you just walked it off. That's pretty badass. And the the delivery guy shows up and apparently he brought the wrong kind of fucking meat. And it's like, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's, dude, take it up with Lou. I'm just the delivery guy. And we get that great electric guitar riff yet again. Absolutely love that. Just, yeah. And Carmi accidentally starts a fire and just stands there for a while. And 
just yeah, on, you know, on some level, like he's got to feel like this is you know maybe some part of him wants you know is considering letting it burn. You know, and that was also the thing. That was the thing that one of the things that Mikey's voiceover said. You know, just burn it down. And yeah, Richie checks if Carmi is all right. You know, the he is. You know, Richie is starting to empathize more with with Carmi. You know, like if this had happened, like episode one, he would have been like, "Dude, what the fuck? What is your problem?" You know, just which is not exactly what he needs right now. And, you know, he, he gets the, the letter that we saw earlier that, you know, he found he was going to leave for, for Carmi. Then he put it back, as, you know, and he says, you know, I didn't give it to you sooner because, you know, if I did, that meant he was really gone. You know, and that that is extremely difficult, you know. Um, yeah, I... I uh, Yeah, the line basically says it all. It's, it's, you know, like, from a logical standpoint, maybe it's silly, but that is how it feels right after you, you lose someone. And Carmi texts Sydney, and it's like, he's, he opens by saying, you know, this is what's wrong with the dish you were preparing. It's like, you know, and, and you know, you know some, no acid. What? Your your dish it needs acid, so shove it up your ass. <laughs> and you know yeah it's the the um, yeah you know the the and and he he t you know she yeah he texts back you know you can come by any time to to get the what was it, your last check you know kind of thing. And yeah, and yeah you know he he opens the letter. And, you know, the, the, yeah, opens with the, the words, I love you, dude, let it rip. And, you know, beyond that, it's, you know, the, the, yeah, turns out he was hiding a lot of money in the, you know, smaller cans taste better. It's like, what the, what the, you know, and, and opens one and yeah, bunch of, bunch of cash in there. And let's see. Yeah, you know, tons of of money, and like you know, you can understand why he doesn't just by himself open all these cans. Why he asks all the others to join in and sit, and and, and they act like Sydney is just back, like you know, oh, she she had an off day, so she got a day off, and then she you know now she's back. No, you know she. She probably did show up just, to, you know, get her last check and, yeah. And, let's see. Yeah, and, and the, yeah, you know, the, hangs up the, the text, the, uh, the sign that says, you know, beef is closing, the bear is coming. Uh, you know, and, and yeah, you know, it, it resolves one of the major issues of the entire season, which was, of course, the money problems. You know, there's still issues, but that is a very significant one. So, yeah, you know, I I don't think it's necessary to close off every single, you know, plot line. It's, it, yeah. And, yeah, the, you know, they're all eating, celebrating, you know, they even invited Sugar and Pete. You know, that if if I had one criticism of the episode, don't 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 Pete tease. Don't show us Pete and then have him say or do nothing idiotic and, and just ridiculous just once again. Of all the characters on this show, I am by far the most similar to Pete. So I'm I'm you know, nobody beats up my little brother but me. Just, yeah, uh, really, they better bring him back for season two. Um, anyway, yeah, good season finale. They, they do a good job resolving, you know, there's, yeah, like, 
Tina struggled to, you know, she she wasn't super happy about Carmi and Sydney. She has, you know, they've had a chance to prove to her that, you know, we're all on the, on the same team here. Everybody here wants to make amazing food. You know, um, I think that is pretty much... Yeah, uh, you know, uh, Richie is also accepting Carmi more. Uh, you know, Carmi has gotten better at apologizing to people. I think that is about it. So pretty much every word they said at the end of the episode went right over my head. I was not quick enough to catch them. My reflexes failed. Um, but... I'm thinking it's like they're talking about how they're going to reorganize the restaurant now that they have the money, you know, so, and, and yeah, you know, Sydney, you know, goes right back in there, you know, which, like, as long as Carmi is going to treat her right, you know, she does want the job, you know, she, she wants, so, so, you know, it's, it's that kind of thing of, you know, yes, he was definitely abusive, so, you know, if he apologizes and you see clear evidence that he is taking care of, he's dealing with his issues, so he's not going to be abusive anymore, you know, at that point you can consider going back. You know, don't, do not stay with someone who's abusive if not, you know, if, if that is not the situation. But yeah, you know, it, there's, there's very clear evidence that this is going to get better and yeah, um, excellent season. Really looking forward to so so basically, according to Disney Plus, when I um, yeah, it says that the second season is coming on the second of August, so just under a week. And I have not one hundred percent made up my mind if I'm gonna do like if they drop every single episode on the same day yeah I, I don't know if I'm gonna do more you know so far I've been doing two per week usually on the same day yeah I, I don't know if that's if I'm gonna keep that up or if I'm gonna change up the, the scheduling it won't be less than one a week I, I can't even imagine like as long as there's fresh bear for me to feast on that is definitely but uh, yeah uh, we'll, we'll see yeah, really, really glad that I, you know, gave this show a chance, and yeah, um, I like the shot close to the end of the episode where we briefly see, you know, it's like Mikey is smiling on them from heaven. It's it's super like it's schmaltzy, it's silly, it's ridiculous, but it works. You know, what are you gonna do? If it ain't baroque, don't fix it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, right. Um, Saturday, most likely, I will do a video on a movie. And other than that, that is it for the videos of this week. So, yeah. Catch you then.